Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, yes, it is dark. I usually don't record when it's dark, but I did a little bit of work on this thing here. As you can see, I took a few blocks out because I didn't realize the hinges don't move any further than that. And I added a little something else, too, because I had it stuck up against the wall. So, that's the wrong one. Let's get it going again. Could use another pair of hover pads on there. I'm thinking about trying to build something like this. Maybe even work it into a transformer. But if I stop, as you can see, I put another hover pad there. Not only a hover pad, but I got a little backup light too. It uh, gets a little stuck. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see it when it's rolling, but the wheels actually pick up the, the, the small grid, like the little block sections. I noticed that just before the wipe, I was actually driving around on foundations. I was trying to build that city, and I had my little buggy, and I was going around, and I could feel it. You could feel every little line in the the ground. But yeah, I had that extra spot for the uh, switchboards here. Uh, it'd be a good idea to have them under underneath, just so you know I'm not getting stuck on them. Mind you, I could use suspension on this too. Probably could uh, rework it a little bit better. It might work a little bit better. But anyways. For today, I have a bit of a fun and interesting project I want to work on. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a colorful one, too. It's a, sort of a, it originally was supposed to be a variation of something I had done in Season 1, in episode, what was it, 96, BC's Wild Ride. I basically just daisy chain like 60 air blades and put a cockpit onto it and try to see how fast I can go and see if I can control it. And yes, it was a wild ride. Uh, it's always raining. Uh, I'll be back. Yeah, I don't know what it is with this biome. It rains like twice every morning. By the time uh, it stops raining, the day's half over. But anyways, uh, originally I had a few other ideas I wanted to do for this episode. and I, I don't know, I couldn't decide on what I wanted to do. And then I thought of doing something similar to, you know, my wild ride there. I was going to just take like four giant air blades and have a chain coming down with the cockpit and try to see how it could fly it around. And I thought, well... Why do that? Why not go ahead and uh, just try to make a hot air balloon? So I think that's what we're going to do today. Um, we are going to have to build this from the balloon itself instead of the cockpit just because I'm going to have a chain. And unless it's been changed, as far as I know, the air blades should actually work inside inside an enclosed structure. I'm just trying to figure out how far down I want to go because I want to have like a, a makeshift basket. So let's actually go up a little. Let's go one more. Why not? We don't have block damage yet. Might as well abuse it. All right. So we got that. Then uh, might as well just put one more out so I have the room to build with. And yeah, I gotta talk to them about the hitbox on this thing. I never did check that in the new Unity build. See if that hitbox is still the same way. Cause it's always this post that I have trouble snapping to. Sometimes I have to put a small armored block to actually get it to work. But what we're gonna do is, because we're gonna be using the cockpit, I don't want the basket bigger than the bottom of the balloon. So the basket is gonna end up being a five by five because the cockpit is three by three. So we're just gonna build around it with a chain coming up to the balloon. So I believe, let's go with a seven by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then doing circles, it's always so much easier to go into uh, cut into quarters. One, two, three. So you start with your seven by seven uh, cross, for instance. One, two. Oh, look, floating blocks. Another one I gotta try in the new build. Uh, where is it here? Four, two, and three. And then when you get here, to work out your circle, you just sort of start going symmetrically from these. And this works with however big you want to go. And yeah, it's, I blame the lag. It's got to be the conveyors. Uh, still do have a little bit of a frame rate in the new build, but that's okay. But then basically like that. And it is going to go up probably... Probably when I get up to about here, then I'll start going out and go from there. So I'm going to do this off camera and try to 
get a little bit of base. Well, we do gotta get the air blades in here too, but we gotta get those in. Right, we go. Let's actually put those in right now. So, despite the weight, I am gonna use. Actually, no, I have to do this differently because I want to put a uranium generator or deuterium generator in here. Uh, let me get a basic thing set up here, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I got a bit of a shape here set up. Uh, I was trying to figure it out as I went. I was noticing that I was sort of following a pattern. I got up to here, and it was, I don't know if you can see it, but it was basically just doing like an octagonal shape. So what I did is I went up here, and you know, when you're doing circles, sometimes you gotta change up a little bit and get that out of the way. So instead of just being like that, it was just these five here. And it was creating a straight line. What I did is I came out one on the inside, just gave it a little three, and it gives a little more of a curvature. Uh, it is tricky trying to do, you know, semi-realistic looking circles on a scale this small and yes I know it's a big scale but this is technically small like if in order to get proper circles with blocks this size it would probably have to be 30 or 40 blocks at least probably the size of that table over there but anyways uh, before I finish this up I want to actually get the air blades and the generator and all that stuff in so the generator is going to go right down here uh, always want to keep your center mass down as low as possible and this thing is heavy so we're going to put that right there, and we're going to throw a, uh, yeah, we're going to have to put two switchboards on here. I'm just going to fill this in for now, we'll just do it white, we we'll get a switchboard on top, and there should have to be one down below too, because I want to be able to turn this thing off so I'm not wasting deuterium. Not that I don't have an unlimited supply, but that's besides the point. Alright, so this is this. Now for the air blades. Uh, I want to try to get, well for one I gotta decide which way it's gonna be forward and I guess this is gonna be the front of the balloon. So then that means my hover pads, have, my air blades have to be on the sides here. Uh, I do have some blocks I probably could remove but I'm not gonna take that chance. Uh, also if you're yelling at the screen right now telling me to dr drink and eat, I am not drinking right now because I do have a, a bit of a bug going on where uh, drinking water has a tendency to crash my game and I gotta remember to send a crash report to the devs but anyways I want to see how many air blades I can get in here I need three block height for each one so the top of the switchboard is right here so let me get out of hover mode here and I want to have two of them side by side I only have five blocks here so I'm gonna to have to build it off of this and so we'll go in here and I'm probably gonna hit that switchboard and disable my hover mode one I technically only need six blocks, but because I'm building on odds here, I need three. Is that actually going to reach now? Hmm. I think it might be too far. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to be over here. That's right. Uh, let me move this up here. And just in time for the rain to stop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill these ones in so you can actually see where I'm putting the air blades here. Uh, so I do have technically a seven, seven block wide area uh, spaced two blocks apart. So I should be able to get six air blades on both sides. Oh, that was a trebuchet. I thought something was floating over there. Alright, so I'll just go ahead and do this. And throw some air blades on here. Uh, originally for the design of the balloon, I was thinking of trying to go with, um, like I was looking at some pictures of hot air balloons before I actually did this, and this is an air blade, uh, autosave. Oh, those are getting worse and worse. Okay, that's in the right spot. And I originally wanted to get sort of like a spiral gradient going on the side of it, or going around it, but because of the, you know, the hot air balloons, the... Uh, the fabric sections are actually smaller down here than they are up here. These are actually much larger, so they can. It actually works out. You could have, let's say, 30 segments going around at the bottom and 30 segments going around the top. But here, I got about 30 going around here and about 10 going around there. So it's not going to work out too well. I could probably find a way to make it work, but it would probably look pretty ugly. So we pull. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put 
six air blades on either side and this should be enough i might even throw a couple down here just for lift but these are going to be our main controls uh, they're going to be wired up to that switchboard down there oh look i can see through my neck <laughs> Uh, which will be patched to another switchboard down at the bottom and then to the generator so this is just to make sure that I can get power up to the top ones if I need it so let me get this all fixed up and I'll bring you back okay I have all the air blades in I have them all powered up uh, I decided to go with the extra six just for the sake of it so this is gonna be the front I do have a switchboard on the front on the bottom here actually connects to this. Uh, the power wires make a nice lovely start pattern. Uh, and what I did is I just have these 12 here going directional, going forward that way. The front half turn this way, the back half turn this way. So when I turn I'm actually rotating, then I go forward and then rotate again. Sort of like how the that thing goes. Oh I disabled that. Anyway, so we'll get that off. So now I just gotta put the cap on and color it up. So when I'm filling this in, I do have to keep in mind that I have to have a space for the air blades. So I'm gonna go up one more row like so. And then I think what I'm gonna do from here is probably, because I got the air blade in the way, what I might do is because I wanna try to get up to a three because I'd like to try to get this rounded trying to get this around it might not work too well what I could do is use the, the old pattern I had and then my work work my way up and go from there uh, sometimes it takes a lot of trial and error to try to get proper shapes uh, if you saw me attempt to do that sphinx you can understand the headache I had to deal with with that and I was actually thought I was crazy trying to do something like that but you know what it didn't turn out that bad could have been worse but it could have been better but I tried it's all that matters so let me get this all closed up and then uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to put the basket on okay there it is so I do have the top all done I left a little hole in the top because technically Hot air balloons do have a hole in the top, just like a parachute, just because uh, heat's got to go somewhere, right? And I've been thinking about how I want to design this, and I, I, thought, I thought I had a great idea. Uh, why not we do it like a globe? I'm going to do the whole thing blue, and then try to put in some contents or whatever. It doesn't have to be Earth, it can be any planet. I'll even do some uh, North and the South Pole, just, just because and then uh, bring you back when I have that all done then we'll do the basket and take it for a flight okay I have it all done I thought I'd check the, the weight on this apparently it's almost 32 tons which is a lot more than I figured it would weigh but anyways there it is I have uh, tried to get like a little bit of a globey look to it I got a southern cap and a northern pole cap whatever a couple of funny little continents. I was going to try to get like little lakes and rivers in, but yeah, it's a little too pixelated for stuff like that. And then got a few islands over there. But anyways, let's go and get the basket on and take a first spin. Now, uh, I put the switchboard on the front so that uh, that way I don't get confused on where I'm going to put this. And the reason why I built the balloon first is because originally I was going to start from the cockpit and go up, but I know that even though these are technically locked, they still have some play in them. And yes, we're going with brown because uh, brown's a basket. Or brown is called a basket. And I think, I think I'm going to go four. Or in this case, two. Two U-joints. And I call it a U-joint because you have one going one way, one going the other way. And I, I, I trust these more than I trust the rotating plates. <laughs> I'll be quite honest with you. All right, so now we just go ahead like that. And yeah, we'll do it the easy way. Just do like a little five by five box and throw a cockpit in the middle. And like that so. Doesn't have to be much, we're gonna be in gonna be in third person when we fly anyways. Uh, I did, however, was able to 
eat and drink without any problems. I don't know what caused the bug, but it has crashed my game a few times, and it usually happens within... I don't know if you can see it, but that thing's moving already. Uh, but it usually happens when I've been running the game for more than half an hour, which I have somewhat. It's not many, many, many hours that I've been on this one, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we are almost done here. And I was going to go grounded blocks, and maybe I will. Yeah, I changed my mind on using round blocks. If I use round blocks here, then I'd have to go in and fill in all the corners with the arcs and find those slope blocks to try to get this more round. But, there it is. There it is. There is our hot air balloon. Uh, our 30 ton hot air balloon. Now, before I unplant this thing, I'm going to go in here, supply it with some fuel. I hope yeah, what do the airplanes use? 100 each, and I got 18. Oh, yeah, okay. We can run 80 off of this thing. Now, before I implant it, I do want to take some of the weight off. So go ahead, turn it on, make sure. Okay, 50 hours of fuel. I like it. So we're just going to hover up just a little bit. Just to make sure that it doesn't drop on me. No, it's going to drop on me anyways, but... You know, if I haven't been killed my own creature before, then I'm not doing my job right. Alright, now watch this thing go flying. Oh, look at that. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Alright, let's go take it for a, a little spin. Alright, get the third person here. We'll zoom out a little bit. Take a nice little screenshot for Steam. And off we go. Not quite. Oh wow, this thing is heavy. Uh, I think we're going to need some more air blades. Yeah, 30 tons, wow. Yeah, I am controlling it. Should have used slopes. And of course I didn't save this. So let me see if I can get a little bit more uh, air power in there. Okay. I had to shed a little bit of weight. It was a bit of a mess. And got a few more air blades in there, and hopefully this should be enough, because it was almost at the point of taking off. Uh, it is, a, again, a hot air balloon. It's not supposed to be a fast-moving object. Let's get out of the way. I don't trust this. I've made that mistake too many times. Up she goes. Let's see what the overall weight is now. What do we got? 27 now. These armor blocks must have gotten heavier. No, it's still 30. I didn't shed that much weight. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Up we go. And there we go. We are off. Bloon had to take a bit of a haircut, but there we go. Now let's see if we can actually move this thing. Aside from the fact that it lost its top, it works. Now I got my steering all backwards. There we go, my 27 ton hot air balloon. That's not bad, I could have could have made it bigger. We'll have to go with the big air blades next time. But there we have it. You know, you always got to think outside the box. Well, there's an autosave. No, that wasn't. That's uh, the lab loaded in. Oh, the lag in this place is so bad. I'm lost. Yeah, don't be afraid to think outside the box once in a while. You never know what you're going to come up with. Oh, it's the build vision. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, my steering's off. 
But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.